What brings you? Ah, yes, the gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. They don't move, not even a bit, as if they're the heaviest things in the world. Don't you know the story behind them? I'm not a... Uh, I'm telling you, you can't pick... If you won't listen to me... What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelder found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Ah, so you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. Wasn't so bad. But until it had gotten worse over time, I'd come here. To the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. Arelder has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelder, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. Be seeing you. I hope I can help. It's a horrible thing, truly. One cannot help but pity those such as Kellen, who have such a burden placed on them through no fault of their own. But, but if it is the will of the Nine, then there is little that can be done. I... I cannot face him. I, I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him. Truly I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. The curse. I know what would lift it. But I cannot do it. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar, pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? I've told you. He's down in the... Farewell. You... how did you? I feel good. I feel... good. 
I don't feel like death. I feel like running. can't believe it. I feel normal. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. I finally have a chance to get out and see the world. I'm not wasting another second of my life, and I'm forever indebted to you, friend. Farewell. Hello. How goes it? Hello there. Good evening. Well, I'm going over to Northern Goods and Trade. There's always something I need at that place. Very true. You can find almost a pleasure to speak. You. You lifted the curse? But that means that now you've cursed yourself. Why would you do such a thing? The church has taken... I can't believe that Glisto would... Good Farewell. Evening. I can't believe you were willing to do that for Kellen, to sacrifice your own well-being without hesitation. What business do I have acting as a priest if I'm not willing to do all I can in helping those who need it? Perhaps I need to rethink my calling. Please, leave me be. I need time to think on what I've seen. Farewell. Hello. 